so I'm here with my friend Daniel. Uh, Daniel, the last time I saw you was last year in 2020. We had gone to go take groceries to a homeless man that was living out of his truck, right? Yes, it was someone you knew and you told me, Miss Grace, this uh, friend of mine needs groceries. So we went and took him groceries. That's the last time I saw you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it was. Now, what have you been doing since I last saw you? Um, I winded up relapsing and I went to rehab for like 78 days and uh, came back out. And here I am. Okay. And you're working now, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm working at rallies. I became manager. You're a manager yes, now? Now, that's something new. I didn't know that. It's the last the time you were just like a cook, right? Yeah. Now you're the manager. My yeah. God is blessing you, right? It definitely is. Okay. And so um, you're back at the shelter, right? Yes, ma'am. And tell me, uh, what has being homeless been like for you? Um, well, really, due to my drug addiction and the lifestyle I was living, I became homeless. For, and I've been homeless off and on for the past few years. Uh, at the moment, though, I have an apartment at the shelter. So uh, God's definitely blessed me, but really um, due, to, due to my drug addiction and, and the lifestyle I was living, that's what wound me up being homeless. And um, you're receiving treatment for that now, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And you started going to church, right? Oh, yeah, I'm back in church. I'm going tonight. That's wonderful. Now, I'm really glad that they allowed you to go back into the shelter, right? Yeah because some places they're booked yeah. right with this coronavirus the pandemic so many people have ended up being homeless and a lot of the shelters are to the max yeah. now tell me what are your thoughts of the pandemic the coronavirus i believe that god's trying to tell us something i believe that he's telling us to open our eyes look at the evil and rebuke it i believe that he's telling us to see the truth in things and not for what it is and not what a man-made ideal is or a man-made decision is but just to repent really right right and we just have to be so careful right daniel i know you're staying at the shelter and they have protocols in place right yeah. you have to wear your mask keep your distance inside right yeah okay tell me a little bit about your job do you like being a manager yeah i like it so far um it ain't too bad. I've only been manager for a couple weeks now, so oh, okay. Easy does it, really. And it's not far away, right? You walk to it. Yeah, it's about a thirty-minute walk, thirty, forty-five minute walk. So God has been really blessing you, right? Yeah, yes, he has. Right. I was so thankful. I hadn't heard from you, like I said, since last year. I think it was in the fall. And when you reached out to me, you texted me and you kind of let me know you were back in town. Because the rehab program you were in was in Cincinnati, right? It was in Hamilton. Uh-huh. And you said, I'm back in town, Miss Grace, and you wanted to connect back with me? Yes, ma'am. And I also want the viewers to know, Daniel has been such a blessing in my life and in the ministry's life because you have helped me so much uh last year i think we met last year yeah, right last in 2020 year, uh, february yeah December, february and as soon as i met you you said i want to help you with your ministry and you've been out with me to the parks to feed the homeless you've gone with me when i've gone under bridges railroad tracks bridges to feed yes ma'am and you never say no when I say, Daniel, you want to come with me? You're the first one to say, I will go. Here I am, send me, the Bible says. And I'm so thankful that you've allowed yourself to be used that way. you know, Because not too many people would offer, right? Yes, ma'am. Now, tell me a little bit about how you ended up homeless initially um well it all started um i moved out of my mom's when i was like 18 i just hit 18 and um back then i was just smoking weed and stuff 
but it led to gradually led to other drugs and more more deadlier things and different lifestyles uh, selling dope and ripping and running and staying up all night and, and just running the streets and partying uh -huh. and that winded up me not having a stable spot I would keep I kept losing jobs I kept ruining relationships so really it was just started back then so for the past 10 years off and on, I've been homeless in there and there. I've had places to stay here and there, but mm -hmm. it, it wind up being an issue or some, something to the fact of me having to be able to relocate. So um, really, it, it just basically, basically off my decisions and the, and the path I took and the lifestyle I chose, I, I wind up being homeless. And mm -hmm. Now I'm trying to get it all back together. I'm glad that you've turned your life around sometimes it's not hard i mean sometimes it's hard saying goodbye to uh the lifestyle you were living right yes ma'am it uh it opened a lot of doors to a lot of wicked spirits to get upon me and when, when that happened i just became consumed uh -huh. consumed by the darkness you know and god brought me up out of the light into the light so many different times during this during this path I've been on since 2017 when I reached out to him he started showing me things mm. and um, it's just uh, it's a demonic presence a drug addiction is and, and when they get attached to you it's hard to break only, only the power of God can break it right and sometimes it's hard saying goodbye to friends right yeah, definitely because there's a lot of people I've grown close to out here that had my back before a certain family would, you know, or let me stay, or whatever, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So I've grown close to a lot of people in this town. And, and you've also been um, in jail before, right? Yes, ma'am. How how long were you there? I've been in and out of jail off and on my whole life. Yeah. Since I was a juvenile. Uh huh. But now you're ready to turn your life around, right? Well, I pray for you, Daniel, that you will be strong because, you know, they say uh, Satan is like a roaring lion looking to see who he can destroy. Don't let him use you, okay? You need to be strong enough to be able to say, get away from me, right? And you need to be strong enough to be able to walk away from bad influences, right? Yes, ma'am. That's right. Now, Daniel, tell me, do you have a fond memory of when you were a child? I, I do. I got some fond memories. Um, the one that stands out the most? Me sitting there playing with my G.I. Joes while my stepdad was sitting there watching and playing a game on the computer. Oh. My stepdad meant a lot to me. My, my real dad, uh, we just started having a relationship lately past, over the past couple of years, but he's in prison right now. So. Oh, okay. That, that, that's got a turn when uh, he gets out but my stepdad uh -huh. passed away and that's that's one of the things that crushed me the most when my stepdad passed away mm -hmm. and uh, do you have siblings yes I got an older brother and an older sister are you close to them I'm close to my sister my brother uh, we talk here and there but I'm, I think I'm more closest to my sister okay and you said your mother um is very close to you also, right? Yes, ma'am. You know, Miles, we, we've gotten closer over the past couple years. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Well, I know you just got out of work, right? Yes, ma'am. When I called you today, you were still at work, and you said, hit me up a little later <laughs> after I get out. Yeah, I was supposed to be off today, but my sister asked if I wanted to work with her, so. Your sister works with you at the same place? Yes, ma'am. That's she's wonderful. A general manager. Now, look, it's starting to uh, uh, come down a little bit of snowflakes. It's really cold out here. And when it's like this, I, I feel so sad for all those homeless that are out in the street that really, truly don't have the benefit even of a shelter, right? That they have to be walking around looking for a place to uh, stay that will place keep them dry and, and warm. How to stay warm. It's, and it's, a, it's a rough lifestyle and a lot of people don't understand what, what, what the things we have to go through. Mm -hmm. Regardless if we ended up homeless from our choices or whether just bad circumstances like mm -hmm. we experience some dark things and people gotta open our hearts, open our hearts and minds to, to, to 
help the next person in need. And you know, Jesus Christ was homeless too, right? Yeah. It said he didn't even have a place to lay his head, right? And Jesus Christ, our God, he is close to those kind of people, right? Yes, those are the kind of people that he really liked hanging around with when he was here on earth, right? Yes, oh, shall we head back to the shelter, Daniel? That's what everyone do. All right, so like I said, it is cold out here. My hands are starting to freeze. Um, but we're out here just talking to each other. Like good I said, I was so happy to see you, Daniel, because yeah, I see haven't you. seen you since last year. Yeah, I ain't heard from you because well, I've been in rehab, so I was like, I'm going to hit her up as soon as I get out. Yeah, and I'm very thankful. I hope you will stay in touch with me, okay? Yes, ma'am, I will. All right. Do you know any Christian songs? Uh, my favorite song is I Want to Be Different by Michael Taylor. All right, sing it. I don't know. I, I'm not a good singer. <laughs> I want to be I have different. seen the glory I want to be them. changed. What's that? All of me is gone. Nothing remains. That's a chorus. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. So we're heading back to the shelter. There's my van over there. And let me tell you, folks, it is very, very cold out here, right, Daniel? Yes, ma'am. It's pretty nippy. Yeah. Pretty chilly out. We need to pray for the homeless, right? Yes, ma'am. Daniel, especially those that don't have a warm place. You know, we are really so blessed, right? Anyone that has the benefit of a warm shelter, a house, apartment, whatever, and you have plenty of food to eat and you don't have to worry about where is my next meal coming from where am i gonna lay my head we are truly blessed right yes, yes, and we should never stop thanking jesus christ for our blessings right you no know, always always praising and always thanking all right so here we are look i've got my funky little hat on god bless you guys <laughs> Here's, here's my Daniel. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for stopping by and watching my little videos. Any last words, Daniel, that you want to say? Let's just say a prayer for the homeless real quick. All right. I know your hands are freezing and so are mine. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this time and this opportunity to meet and reunite, Father God. Lord, we thank you for uh, just the power and authority you've given us over the things that we go through, Father God. Lord, we pray for the homeless right now, Father God. I pray for the Holy Ghost fire to fall upon them right now, Father God. I pray that you give them warmth and comfort and a bed to sleep in, Father God. Lord, we pray for their next meal to be warm and, and not cold or out of the trash or anything, Father God. Lord, we pray for you to guide them and, and prepare them for what they're going to be facing, Lord, and just make a way out when there's no other way that it seems like. Father God, and it's all in your mighty name, in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 All right, let's get back into warmer shelter. <laughs>